guys, let's chat. Hey guys, welcome to another and the last episode of Let's Sign. We're going to be talking about The Dragon Prince Season 1. Oh, what a great show. Great representation of ASL as well. And we're going to go over every scene that has sign language in it. I'm excited to do it. This is the last episode for this season, and there's a second season out. Maybe I'll get a chance to try knocking out those as well. But before I go into it, let's share some love. Where's the love? Okay, guys, check it out. Uh, we got some good feedback last episode. This is great. Jaden says, will you be doing a breakdown of the signing scenes in season two? Yeah, I'll try. I'll try my best. <laughs> the animation is smoother, so hopefully the interpretation would be easier. I hope so, too. These low frame rates are kind of rough, to be honest with you. But, hey, I'm excited. Let's try. Let's do our best. Hey, this is super interesting. Says, I are Ken has pie. Don't worry about the length. This is a really good format. Keep it up. I was worried if the last episode was a little too long, but uh, thank you guys for your support. I really do appreciate it. All right, one more quick piece of love. Hey, I love the detail this video goes into beyond just the vocabulary and into the granularity of ASL in real life. Says, they're, they're in the... <laughs> It's something that's hard to learn if you don't have the opportunity to be active in the deaf community. But most deaf YouTubers don't really cover this kind of thing, and most non-deaf teachers don't go into this kind of detail, because they assume you'll just pick it up once you actually go into the community. And yeah, I mean, the whole point of this is to show that anybody can learn ASL, whether you, what, regardless of your background or your interests. Hey, listen, ASL is a great language for you to enrich yourself with. And the fact that they did it in this show so well is a really good opportunity for us to break down why it's so good. Because this channel is a conversation channel. It's a chat channel. And I want to show good ways to have that. And I think we can learn from a lot of different kinds of groups. So, now that we said that, let's actually go into the meat and potatoes of the episode. I think what I'll do is show the clip at regular speed. Then we'll back up and watch it at a slower speed after oh so we'll do the full sp regular speed then we'll break down the signs i'll do a quick little translation we'll talk about maybe about the nature of the signs and then maybe we can see it again slow i think that format might be helpful as far as getting this uh more efficiently done all right let's go for it so we are in the second half i think of episode five uh amaya has just went to her sister's grave varen's there and the the last episode of this let's sign uh, Maya and Varen were kind of angry with each other. They were like a little bit arguing with each other. But looks like cooler heads have prevailed, and now Varen's coming over to apologize, and they seem to be pretty cool. So let's talk, let's chat, let's sign. The truth. And why was that so hard? The camera angles are really bad. I'm not going to talk about it. We've already discussed it. But it's hard to read. It's hard to see sign language when you cut it off here. Anyway, I think I saw three signs. Um... Uh, from memory, I think we had three signs. So let's write those out first. Uh, edit. The first sign was Y. Y. And then I think she was indexing. So I'm going to put an asterisk here. That. And then she said hard, but with one hand. Or maybe two. I can't say. Uh, indexing is when you point at the thing that you want to talk about. So like I can say me, but if I'm doing this, it means shirt. Like there's no... I don't, there might be a sign for shirt, but I'm not sure. But if I point at a shirt, I'm saying shirt. I'm indexing it with that. And I can also do it in a general sense when I do this or that or that over there. Yeah? Okay, so why? Why looks like this. Some people do it like this too. But I like doing like that. And that's the way how Maya does it. Why? Why? That. Hard. Hard is kind of like, so like easy is like this. It's like really, really easy, right? But hard is like, oh my gosh, it was like gears crashing into each other. They don't really like fit. Uh, it looks, it looks, and like I said, I can't confirm it because the camera angle is a little bad, but it looks like she did it with just one hand. But so like, why that hard or hard? Not sure. <laughs> Let's do a breakdown. Let's see what it actually looks like. All right. I was blind. You helped me see I really do the like truth. this voice actor though. All right, so. And we have why, why was that, that so, so hard? hard? Can't tell she used two hands, but normally you should do it. I two was hands. blind with humanity blind. itself. Because what else is that thing knocking up against? Guard, fetch a stable boy, quickly. 
I've encountered a giant pile of bull. Oh, there was a lot of signs there, man. It's really hard because the camera angle's there. She did this, and I don't know a hundred percent if that's that's I'm not just not familiar with that sign. So she, I think she said guard. Actually, if I was going to break this down, I would say she said the G sign. This is how you say this is the letter G in in sign language, and I think she said army. Army is like if pretend you had like a, a rifle or a bayonet around your shoulder on a strap army so a military person like this if you put a G with that you're contextualizing military but with a G so maybe that means kind of like a guard I'm not too sure feel free to inform me in the comments but guard come I think she said come and then what she say guard come uh, did she say me find me find no, 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 no. She says, come, boy. And then she did this sign. Uh, for me, that's sort of like someone acting out being on a, uh, a, a horse wagon or like a carriage of some sort. So you could do this as well. But they use that to say stable boy. Uh, that's, that is a bit of a stretch. <laughs> but I'm fine with it. Uh, horse wagon. Horse wagon boy so boy horse wagon uh me me find and then she did this big pile she's forming a big pile uh it's normally pile but like you could do different levels of piles and i think that was a pretty big pile find <laughs> big pile and she does this sign this is like um obviously she's saying bs but there's a there's a uh, there's a uh, euphemistical way of saying it where you do this and you poop with the other hand so you have horns of like the animal up here and then you poop down here and that means bs and i bet you can't say that in detail on a kid's cartoon show not even on netflix come on guys guard come boy horse wagon me find a big pile bs Okay, so let's break that down. Let's see how close I got. Humanity itself. Yeah, she's going like this. So I'm thinking maybe on the bottom of her hand, she's also f she's finishing up army. It's hard to tell when you can only see one hand. What on a what could should be a two hand sign, but yeah, we'll see what we get. So that's. Guard, guard come or bring maybe bring guard bring so like come but maybe guard bring bring boy boy just maybe I'm pretty sure this is like you're on a wagon and you're just like um, uh, controlling a bunch of ho uh, livestock or horses if you want to if you want to say that as stable boy I would at least expect to see person afterwards so you might want to say like stable person I don't know how you say stables for like a like I would say like a house for horses like and then uh, a person at the end but it's it is a it is a fine concession to say boy horse wagon and in my opinion uh, the redhead commander and general of my I wish I knew this guy's name I forgot it but that guy this guy over here <laughs> and general of my probably have a very close relationship that they can get each other's sass uh, she the the redhead guy can get general Amaya's sass and translate into a much more respectful tone what I've noticed is that a general Maya is very laconic with the words that she says and she signs when she's talking to people in a very straightforward intense sort of manner of like here this is what I want figure it out don't waste my time whereas uh, her captain or her assistant is very much more of like okay I'm going to take all these basic uh, uh, very key words and string them into a much more nicer way for the, the people who can hear on the show to interpret and react to it's a really interesting dynamic between these two all right
Stable boy. So stable boy. Quickly. I find top a priority big of the pile of, Catullus. of horse poop. Good. <laughs> anyway. She so next scenes, let's go straight through it. Let's go straight through it. Good. You see it my see way. My way. I'll Me. be departing at sundown we with a rescue party. Rescue group. Okay. Cool. Of course. All right. I don't know if she says good, but good. This is typically like we see eye to eye. See I oh, but she does say if she says the sign for C is directional, and normally I do it like this, um, just to avoid confusion. But if he's if she's saying you see it my way, she would sign towards her eyes, like you see it my way, or like you see it my way, right? But she's saying see you, and we've had that problem before in the first episode. But in general, see. But if you see, you see, I see, she sees. It's fine. Good. See my way. Way. It's the direction that you're going in. Um, I think she says, me leave. So me leave with my the rest of my group. We depart. Depart with the rest of my group. Uh, at sundown. Sun, literally a, a sun rays going down over the horizon. Leave sun down. Um, she signs rescue. Rescue. And then group. Uh, in ASL, there's classifications of basic signs. So like, if I do this with my hands, I'm typically referring to group in general. But if I put G's on the end, then I really explicitly mean group group if I do F signs while doing like a group sign I mean family so family teams T sign uh, party uh, if you can find a contextual letter to apply to the group sign that's typically what it means the group sign um, yeah so not rescue party but rescue group it's kind of cool rescue group normally if I was signing this good so if I was saying, good, you see it my way, like you see it, you see it my way, not I see it your way, but it's fine. And then uh, me and everyone else are going to leave on sundown um, uh, together with the rescue group. It's fine. Nice. Cool. But allow me to ask. Oh, there's more signs. What happens to the Check breach? Check event breach. You say yourself how precarious the situation okay. is Hop. so he asks oh there's one more sign okay just gonna put a little pause here and then we saw another sign that was was that check or pay no it's definitely check so pay is like this you have your hand flat and it's like I pay you it's directional as well a lot of signs in ASL are directional so I pay you money you pay me money you owe me money <laughs> let me pay you or pay me a little bit of money right imagine you have like a coin on the palm of your hand and you're just dishing it out to whoever you're paying for or if you have a question for the payment that's due or if you're like hey man you owe me money it's like or she paid me money like there's a lot this is like again a class it's like a class of different signs situated around pay but if you have that sign at an angle now you're you're not really like pointing at your finger you're checking off the finger and you're checking or is is that sign so I checked it I'm like did you check this yes I checked everything it's all it's all check right uh, the interesting thing is this can also mean investigate so like I'm looking into it I'm looking into events at the breach so maybe that's the way to interpret that sign so it's not literally check event breach breach it's more of like um, the way or event breach like check events at the breach it's more of like are you are you investigating events at the breach still sort of like that that's what that is a way to interpret those three words put together it would always be good though to add in more signs but I understand the show has a budget <laughs> but if this was live action and they had like complete access to sign this however they want you would probably throw in a little bit more signs there just to make it a little bit more clear also the body language as he's looking over his shoulder and just signing the basic things it makes it such that it's hard to interpret the context of what he's saying but in the aspect of the show 
pretty do, pretty darn good because they could have come up with any three little signs to make up whatever Vernon was saying. They actually picked three that could make sense in this situation. And again, really, really good. Really good use of sign language. So uh, ch are you checking events at the breach? Checking events at the breach. And then the first couple of signs should be good. Um, she says, see you my way. Uh, I'm going to go with my group on sundown with the rescue group. And then when they're walking away, it's like, hey, have you checked the events at the breach? Are you still looking into that? Are you investigating that? How safe is it, right? Is there danger there? All right, let's see what's going on. Priority of the kingdom of, of Catullus. Good. Everyone sounds drunk. <laughs> you see it my You see way. my way. Me, go. I'll be departing uh, sun, at sundown rescue, with the rescue group. That go party. didn't have a lot of frames to it, but I can barely see it. Of course. And then but when they're walking away, ask, you get check what definitely happens events to the breach? at the breach. What happens to the breach? What happens to the breach? What happens to the breach? So he's signing, are you still looking into the breach? Versus, uh, what happens to the breach in general? I get it. Not bad. So you can see it's slightly, the translation is slightly different, but in general, it, they are hitting the points they need to to continue this conversation, despite the fact that the phrases are slightly different. Okay. You cool. said yourself how What's the next scene? is the situation in part that the border will hold. All right, what's the first thing? Make your point. Uh, indexing the point of her finger and asking what? It's not very commonly said, but this works still. Point what? What's your point? If the breach hard, that the border will hold. She says. Point. What? Make your point. Good facial movements there. It's not just the if pants. If the breach. What? Then what are you suggesting? What you are you talking about, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you saying? Uh, so for these two signs, okay, um, I think mouth or saying. She's indexing her mouth as she's talking. So like, you're you're saying what? Like what? So, uh, what would be? She's indexing the speech that's coming out. I'll just say mouth for now. Mouth. You're, you're saying, but what are you saying? Ooh, it's, I don't know if I can translate that. It's basically just like, so? But, okay, so if I was gonna sign so, it'd be like, what? Like what? It's basically the what sign, so? So instead of like your point, so? <laughs> and then the second thing would be like, blah, blah, blah. It's, what, man? You just keep talking. <laughs> Makes sense. How about you try making sense for once, all right? So, again, Amaya, very, very sassy. Hey, is that my cat? Hey, buddy. Oh, he's just chilling back there. So, Amaya, very, very sassy, but uh, um, uh, her assistant uh, is very good at translating that sass, that laconic sass, into something a little bit more uh, respectful and nice. Again, very good dynamic between these two. Hold All right, let's fast. keep going. It's then, yeah. what now, are you suggesting? What are you, what are you, you suggesting? She's, she's like, you keep talking, and I don't hear anything useful. It's like, what? So? <laughs> and he's saying, what are you suggesting? It's very good teamwork Return these two guys have. Like, to the border. Bullshit. It's like, uh, not bullshit, but something else. Excuse my language. Excuse my language. Word dirty. I'm children, sorry. Soren and Claudia, with leading the rescue expedition. I do. I doubt do your doubt intentions. Your I will return to the breach. Return breach. Your, your children kids won't lead the rescue. Lead rescue. The mission will be assigned to. Is. Can't see that. Commander -E Ren. Wow, there was a lot of stuff going on here, and I do not remember half of that. I'm gonna need to look at that scene again, guys. I'm sorry. I will your return to the breach. breach. Your but your children won't, won't lead the rescue. rescue. The mission will be Don't assigned to. Commander. Hmm. I see R E M. And one more Doubt time, your guys. intentions. I will return to the breach, breach. Your but your kids. children won't Don't lead the rescue. rescue. The mission will Don't be assigned to 
can't see it. Commander. RPM. That's weird. What's his name? Gren. Gren? That's that's me. Oh, he's Gren. I, I am Commander Gren. Oh, it's Gren. One more time, guys. I'm sorry. Lead the rescue. Yeah. With leading the rescue expedition. I do. I doubt, doubt your intentions. Your can't I will return to the breach. Breach. Your, your kids children won't lead don't the rescue. Lead rescue. The mission will not be sure assigned to him. R E Commander Gren. Is there just not enough frames? I will return to the breach. But your children won't lead the rescue. I'm looking at how you spell the name. The mission will him. be assigned to him. this guy to indexing him. What's his name? Oh, you can barely see it. There is a G there. It's just really bad angle because you're seeing it like this. You're seeing G. So this is G. G R E N. And he she's signing G as her hand comes up into frame. And then she pops up into the R. So you can really just see the R and then goes into the E-N. I'm sorry, E-N. So G-R-E-N. It's a bad angle. It's a bad angle to, to interpret ASL. One, you can only see like half her hands. <laughs> and it's like from the shoulder up. You can't see anything. And two, she's off to the side. So you can't see like normally how ASL is received is like this. But she's like this. And you can only see from like up to here and up. It's really, really hard. But... Let's see. What is? What did they say? One la last time, guys. Last, very last time. I do doubt, doubt your intentions. Your... Okay, so let's write that down. I think she said, "I doubt your." So I doubt your. Hmm. And I don't know if that's a sign for intentions. Let's just. I will tell you how I would sign this. How about that? Intentions. All right. So another reason why I don't like signing view or watch like this is because it can be confused with this especially if I'm like signing really fast this means doubt doubt I doubt I'm like mm, I'm not really watching I'm like I'm not mm. it's like I'm seeing you but I'm also I'm also like squinting at the same time too so you're like you're squinting with your fingers <laughs> it's like mm. so it's not just like hey, oh oh awesome it's like like mm. it's like hmm so I'm doubting, I'm doubting, so I'm doubting. Then I doubt your, ASL really big point. This means you, this means yours. And you can think of it as like, um, let's see. So indexing the calculator, this calculator is yours or is mine or is it mine? Uh, it's yours, so I'm pushing it towards you, it's yours. So your, that's how you sign it in ASL, you, your all your fingers so I doubt your and then how would you sign intentions I don't know the sign for intentions I would just spell it out so I n t e n uh, t i o n s intentions maybe there's a sign for it that she does with her hands out of camera shot but that should work so I doubt your intentions now there's a bunch of I signs will return to the breach see. so I'm going back to the breach I go breach and then she says your again you can see her hand is there your what does she say next probably the kids oh ooh, 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 spelling sorry with the words there we go breach I go breach period your your kids so kids Look how high she has to do kids to stay in frame. Kids, <laughs> typically, since you're saying kids, you would sign that towards, like, the ground. It's like, your kids, right? But she has to do it up here at <laughs> face level because the camera angle's so bad. So, like, your kids, your giant adult people, um, your kids, right? That's how you normally sign it. It's, like, a little bit lower, but kids. And multiple because she's talking about multiple of his kids. So it's not just your kid, but your kids, right? Uh, this is the beginning of doubt or of no or don't. I'm sorry. No is like this. Don't, won't, it's like that. Yeah. So what was she trying to say? Like your kids won't, your kids won't. And what's the next sign? Your children won't lead. Lead. Oh, lead. Okay. So think of it as like you have a leader and then you have a bunch of followers behind and they're following behind. So won't lead won't 
lead. Your kids won't lead uh, most likely the rescue group, I think she says. Rescue. Rescue. Hmm. I don't know what that sign was, but uh, won't, won't lead rescue. I can't see that sign clearly enough and it's pretty fast with leading the rescue expedition i do i doubt, doubt your intentions your, can't see it i will your return to the breach go the breach but your Kids children won't, won't lead the rescue lead rescue the mission will be assigned to i'm not sure what she was trying to sign there i couldn't see it oh well it's a bad camera angle and i can't see all these other guys too and then when she does the finger spelling i think she brings up g as a fist so it looks like she's about to do this, but really she's doing G R. So it looked like she was just raising up her hand and saying R, R E N, to say uh, Gren's name, but she's really signing the G. You can barely see it, but G, G R E um, N, G R E N. Gren! Gren! Okay. Nice Commander name. Gren. I'm Commander Gren. That's, that's me. I, I am Commander Gren. Then a bunch of stuff. And then G R G N. It's just too hard to see anything else. Let's break it down, guys. I so do I doubt the squinty hands. Doubt your full your full palm outwards. Intentions. Can't see intentions, so she's probably finger spelling it. <laughs> I'm I'm going to, to the, the breach. breach. I think she's indexing past his shoulder, not necessarily pointing at him. Your kids your won't children lead. Won't can't lead see anything. Rescue. rescue. The mission. Can't see any. Oh, mission. Look at the barely seen G. G to the R. You can barely see it. N. And wow, you can barely see that. Gren. And then he says, I'm Commander Gren. It's a very cute scene. Good job, guy. That's. That's me. Alright. What's the next scene? Quick little fade out. And now. Okay. Oh, this is so far away. That is far away. Okay, this is the one of the last scenes of the show where we use ASL, guys. All right, let's get through it. Very far away shot. Let's try our best. Me. I've sent word to Corvus that King Harrow has passed. All right. All I saw was me. And then there was a bunch of stuff. <laughs> and then she did this. Uh, typically, this means away. I guess she's saying something went away. Away, uh, I think I saw C, C, general how she initializes for names up here. She says C, so like Callum, um, Ezrin, Viren, Corvus. That's just her general way of saying names. So Corvus, and then she signs King. King is signed like this. So you make a K and you show that you have like a robe, like a, a big sash across your chest. Um, for princes, same thing. King, though, is a little bit up because this is P and this is K. Prince, king. Ooh, very fancy. So king passed away. Uh, passed away. Uh, passed away is a euphemism by doing this. It's a polite way of saying died. Okay, so me, something away, Corvus. King passed away. I think, how do you make this sen make a sentence? How do you make this make a sentence? Me away, Corvus King passed away. Let's see that one last time. One more time. Possibility she says message in between. Me. I, nah, I can't see it. Uh, it's too far away. But I think if you were gonna make this message make sense, you would say message in between. So like message mail. Um, so me messaged away Corvus about the king um, passing away. It's very, very uh, laconic. But, I mean, Gren made it made sense to an extent. I'm going to assume message was here. Normally I would say um, 
So I sent a letter, right? But you can't say letter. I don't think you can say letter because this is a fantasy show and I don't think they have mail. How about that you would have a message bird maybe? So I sent a message bird away, away to Corvus uh, about the king passing away. Mm, all right. Uh, just for clarity's sake, some additional science could be used to help make this make a little bit more sense. But for the most part, by keywords alone, I think you could pull this together. Again, I think that uh, Gren and Amaya have a very good relationship with each other, such that Amaya doesn't have to be as explicit with her words for Gren to understand. And it would have been easy enough for her, for Amaya to use very textbook, very standard ASL to explain everything. But the fact that she's signing in this way is very common between people who know each other very well. I would see my mom like just do something like this. And it's like, oh, my mom's saying, hey, what's up? <laughs> or uh, uh, people will say things in a way where it's like everyone else would be like, what did she say? What's going on here? It's like, oh, she's saying you should close the door or stuff like that. So, or by like, like, mm, oh, why is she, what, what's going on there? Why does she make that sign? Oh, she's saying she hasn't slept since three o'clock in the morning last night because her cat uh, is in heat. And so she had to let the cat out at about 2.30, but the cat her, had like stomach problems because she just brought him in from the vet. And it's this big old fiasco because the vet wants to be a florist. So she has to call him at specific times when he's at, the, at flower school. And she's just completely upset that she can't find enough time to coordinate all of her life together. He's like, you got all that from just this? It's like, yeah, because I know him very well. We're, we're tight, okay? Don't be angry with us. So if anything, it's a beautiful relationship <laughs> between these two. The fact that you got that many signs is, is pretty good for people who know each other that well. But standard, uh, not really, but common, yeah. You'll find people who, the closer they know each other, the less words they use to express themselves. And it's common with people who speak normally or speak with like, you know, like with their mouths or people who just sign or anything else in between, text messages, whatever. Uh, it tends to be the case that you don't have to write a full paragraph to say, oh, today sucked. Emojis. Emojis are probably even a good example of that. Just few words to express your meaning because you know the people you're talking to understand what you mean it's a beautiful thing all right let's finish up i think she's gonna say corvus king passed i think sent word to corvus that king harrow has passed right nice and slow we're gonna go over it. so me potentially messaged away i've sent oh she sent message at the end Okay. Corvus, the King Harrow has passed. Away message, Corvus King passed away. Okay. Cool. Is Lord Viren aware that Corvus has been tracking the princes? No. Look how she shakes her head. No. One way to sign ASL. No. Another way to sign a in ASL. No. Oh, you want to nod while you do it. But no. 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 Right? This is a sign for no. It's these three fingers snapping together when you get really good at it you can even you can even like no <laughs> but like no no um cool i think that's pretty simple do you want to know what yes looks like yes it's like a head nodding up no it's like ooh, no no like zip it no shut it <laughs> no we're closing down the situation okay yes yeah of course yeah Oh, yeah, right? No, no, get rid of it. Yeah? All right, cool. No. Do not trust Viren. Oh, Viren. All right, I got to see that again. Uh, it may month, be a month from now. Maybe may a year, year. Next year. But he, he will. will. Okay, got it. There's some advanced ASL going on here. So... What is she saying? Let's begin. Let's do that one more time because I just want to make sure. I'm Corvus has been tracking the princes. No, says no. Do not trust. Don't trust Viren. It maybe may be a month from month, now. Maybe may be next year. year. He but will. He will. Okay. So she said no, and then the next sign, next scene was, uh, don't trust. Remember, uh, believe, believe, trust. It takes two people to trust. So I say two fists coming together. Believe, 
you're in there you're locked in but trust don't 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 trust Viren. okay don't trust Viren. maybe maybe um she says month month is like this month but she says month from now so it's just like maybe month maybe month and I don't know how to directly translate this but she's basically like maybe maybe a month from now like in that's how you would you can stretch that translation but like maybe a month uh, maybe we'll we'll talk about year uh, maybe month maybe year it's more like month hmm there's like some there's a sign here that I don't know how to exactly translate maybe year maybe next year she says all right let's talk about year real quick this is a year this is the standard way to sign for year right this is standard right you go into any textbook you go into any ASL 101 or if you talk to someone who knows you don't know ASL they'll sign year like this but if you're in like a deaf community or if you I don't know just do some more studying you'll find like a lot of signs get abbreviated over time to the point where instead of doing this for a year this is now the year <laughs> it's just this it's just like no nah, year right and you can combine words for there's something in asl called um, economy of movement which is i'm combining words together just so i don't have to do this so much right i just want to be able to sign so if you're going to say next year instead of doing this you now do this that means next year so next year next year next what well, next year right it's year next right so next year all those signs combined mean next year so she's saying maybe a month from now maybe next year right it might be it might take next until a full year from now um and then she goes he will i don't know if that's that again not a standard sign but like this is gonna happen this will this this will this is will this is w-i-l-l -L, as in in the future something's going to happen so like future will this is going to happen this is going to happen so she says this this will so don't trust viren so don't trust viren maybe a month from now uh, maybe next year this guy will and I think she says stab you in the back and they probably cut to these two guards because they can't show <laughs> he's gonna kill you guys he's gonna do something crazy all right uh, he could she could have just said betray that's totally fine all right cool let's keep going forward oh, stab you in the back let's do the breakdown guys Is Lord Viren aware that Corvus has been Thank trapping God. the princess. Poor guy. So she says no. No. A little bit of a handshake too. And now she's all like, "Don't Do trust. Not trust. Viren. Don't trust Viren. Viren. Maybe this it means a month. Maybe a month." Let's just clarify. So if I was looking at, if I had a calendar in my hands, right? I read the weeks like this, left to right, right? Or hmm, I read the weeks horizontally. <laughs> maybe it's like this, maybe it's like this. So I read the weeks like this, right? I think whatever your dominant hand is, is really what matters the most. All right, so I read the weeks in a row. And then I read months up and down. So like if I wanted to go the next month, I'd actually flip the page over on the calendar right and so that's why this means month and this means week and this means oh this means year because it's like you know uh it's the earth rotating around the sun Ooh, good language based in science love it love it another reason to love asl so she says maybe which is sort of like a scale or like just literally like no oh, maybe like maybe this is a typical gesture you can make but like maybe this maybe that maybe this all right so maybe a month maybe next year maybe next year right but she just abbreviates it to next year 
from now. Maybe next year. Maybe Ooh, look how she does that. Year. So great. But this, 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 this will. He will. And then she signs for a betrayal. Oh, it's very scary when he says it nice and slow, right? All right, I'll last scene, guys. That's not it, so that's just shipping fuel. <laughs> Let's continue. Hey, uh, I trust you. Hey, I trust you. So don't trust Viren, but you I trust. Yeah? Not bad. Okay, uh, let's make sure. I'm going to have to do this bit by bit. I trust you. you been my voice. Been you. Been you. Oh, uh, I might have to see that again. It's fine. Been voice. Actually, that should be sense. We'll, we'll correct as we go. Sense, voice, now you. Voice, now you. Become my... Okay, there's a lot of signs here. Become my... Okay, she's, she, how do you pronounce that? How do you translate that? Body? Me? Body, me? Me? I don't know what the word for that is. Me, looks like she's about to say rescue. Rescue those, rescue, rescue him or that. Looks like that's for boys. <laughs> that's the end of the scene. Oh my gosh, I trust you. Sense voice now, you become body me, rescue him, that boy. Okay, so. Let's do just a quick. I'll be careful. Me trust you. Okay. Me trust you. Ah. You sense. I think there's. I think it's a. I think it's a hanging you. Give me a second. Give me a second. Me trust you. I'll be careful. I think there's a slight shift in her body. You? Yeah. Oh, it's so... Me trust you. It's you? No. Guess not. Me trust you since my voice, now you, become me. Rescue those boys. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna change rescue him, that boy, to just rescue those boys now rescue those boys res rescue yeah my issue is I can't spell guys that's my problem <laughs> me trust you me trust you you've always been my voice ah uh, maybe something like that that's probably it so this means been or since like it's been like that since XYZ but I think she's signing it in the sense of like you've always been you've always been you've always been my voice you've been my voice now now let's go now currently this is a sign for currently but it could also mean now now you become now become Roll my voice now. I'm just translating ASL signs into English. So now become my. Now become my. Become the rest of me. Hmm. It means more than just saying the rest of me. The rest of me. Uh. Rest of me. I'm just gonna and then rescue those boys. So I think she says, me, trust you, you've always been my voice, but now become the rest of me and rescue those, rescue those boys, rescue those, or rescue those boys, doesn't matter which direction you point. I trust you, she wouldn't say me trust you, she would say I trust you, right. So I trust, I trust you, you've always been my voice. 
now become the rest of me and um, rescue those boys. That's a beautiful way of saying it. The rest of me. It means a lot more the way how she's saying it. It's more of like, now become my will. Like, become who I am. Become me. Like, step up and I trust you so much that you should be everything that I am in my place. Like, here's me, and now I'm, I'm giving that to you. It's a beautiful thing to say. I don't know the right way to say it, but I say, I get the idea of like, hey, you've always been my voice. Now, complete. Complete me. Or <laughs> not in a romantic way, but just be the rest of me and rescue those boys. More, less dismissive of, hey, grow up and just be the rest of my uh, body, please. But also more emotional than, less emotional, less less romantic than complete me <laughs> i think rest of me can work for right now so hey i trust you you've always been a voice now become and then uh go rescue those boys nice cool is that the scene let's do a breakdown let's see how close i got oh be careful I trust you. Me trust you, but it means I trust you here in English. You've always been my voice. Now, you become my... And then she see, see how she puts that out there? Rescue those boys. Look at concern on her face. It's really good. I want to do that one last time, guys. So well done. Look at her face when she signs this, man. I'm smiling because I trust you, dude. It's not just the signs. Look how she's throwing out good body language, too. Me, voice. Now she's getting a little bit more serious. Now you become my, my being. Very nice. Now look at her face. Rescue those voice so well done it's not just the signs it's the whole body it's the face it's everything it's so good that's what i'm saying this is such a great attention to detail to asl guys i think the the very 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 last scene in this show and that's a hug asl heart hug i don't know <laughs> uh is i'm gonna go I'm on a horse. See you later. Bye. <laughs> that's probably the very last scene. But guys, I think that's it. So what did we learn from all of this? ASL is a great thing. ASL is awesome. Guys, you can learn a lot from it. You can learn a lot from how to maybe improve the, the way that you communicate with other people right now. Maybe make it less of just the words you're saying and more of a combination of the words your body language, your facial expressions, the way, the things that you choose to say, the way how you choose to say them, so brilliant. And I think ASL can enrich your life. Hey, if you want to learn more about ASL, there's some really great websites you can check out. I think Life Print is probably one of the best ones. Print on YouTube. Uh, watch their classes. Bill Vickers is uh, a deaf teacher he's a deaf teacher and he will teach you everything you need to know about asl he's a very good professor and you can see all of his classes online very good very very good resource um signing savvy also very good as well there's a bunch of stuff that's good i would recommend that if you're going to learn how to do or learn more about asl you also practice reception as well uh find a friend find a YouTube video, mute it without the translator talking and see if you can understand what's actually being said without being told what's being said because receiving ASL is the only hard part about it because there's no accent barrier. I can say, you know, um, I don't know, I can say watermelon and as long as you can do that, you're saying watermelon, right? There's no accent there. But knowing what it looks like from my side of the hand versus what it looks like when you're seeing it from the other perspective is a completely different thing. So being able to understand what signs are when they're mirrored, what signs are when they're done in media and you're seeing a guy sign from the side or at a weird camera angle and you have to understand what did that look like from the other side. So like when General Maya is signing G-R-E-N, 
I have you have to say like what's G look like? Is it literally like this or could it be like this? Could it be like this? What is being said here? And that that's the that's the real hard thing that I'm working on right now. Let me know about your progress. And until then, yo, keep doing ASL. It's fun. Learn about it and have fun. That's the whole point of this, guys. Thank you so much for staking with me on this journey. I hope you guys learned some things. And hopefully um, we can do this for season two, along with all the other SC content on our show. Hey, check out sc-playlist.com if you want to see other people do SE. It's a really, really fun thing to do. And if you want to see more about ASL, I'd highly recommend the classes on lifeprint.com. And until then, uh, stick around and continue enriching your lives, finding new ways to have conversations with people. See you guys. I hope you had a good time. Bye.